Welcome to Tom's Cubes and Games and we'll be looking at flashing the latest version of Jalos onto a TF card for the Palkiddy RGB30. It's important to never allow windows to format any card. Right, for preparations, uh, just going to make sure we've got internet will download Rufus and 7-zip and we just need a card reader and a free USB port ready. Okay so we've got our internet, uh, let's download Rufus Uh, well, I'm doing this on Windows, so I'm going for the standard Windows, so I'll click on that. So that's downloading. It's a very short, small program. So yes, we'll allow changes, and there, that's it. So Rufus is there. Let's just close it for now. Now we want 7-zip. And we, I, I've got 64-bit windows like you probably do. So that's there downloading. Again, allow changes. Change wherever you want it if you want to change it. That's done quickly, so we're done with that. It takes a few minutes to download Jellos. Uh, we want the uh, distribution. Uh, the license is here explaining it's if you're not doing it for commercial reasons you're free to distribute it and do with it as you please basically uh, just refer people back to this license we are after pal kitty rgb30 So I'll click on that to download it. You can see this is just going to take a few minutes. Right, that's that done. So we've finished with the internet for now. Now, just now I installed Rufus and 7-Zip straight from the download in the browser but if you'd close the browser without installing them we need to go to the download folder anyway um, so if you hadn't run the installer just double click on the 7-zip one yes allow it to make the changes once it's installed you can delete it we don't need that wasting memory anymore rufus we may as well just drag that onto the desktop for convenient access and then 
the compressed file for Jalos image is .gz on the end. So we just need to uncompress it with 7-zip. And it's let's keep it simple. Let's extract here. It only takes a minute or so. job done and there's the image of Jalos so we don't need a compressed file anymore we can delete that so we've got a nice tidy downloads folder and I personally keep my images uh, in an OS folder on my desktop but I'll just leave it here for now Right, we're ready to insert our card. So I'm just doing that now. Now just to make sure we don't flash to a card we don't mean to, just double check that is the card you definitely want to flash to. Make a note of the label so mine's coming up as D, yours could be anything, who knows. Okay, so we know which card we're flashing to. We can close Explorer, open Rufus. Whoops. Yes, allow. Now first off, let's format the card. I bet double check that's the card. Yeah, D, that was the one. And we're going to put it as non bootable just to format it. That's all we need to change. You can leave everything on defaults. Start. OK. Job done. Let me close that. Now let's change it. We want it to be disk or ISO image. Select the image. Um, it will probably jump to downloads by default. If not, just navigate to wherever the image is. That's the one we decompressed with 7-zip and double check it's the right one yeah that's the right one and it's just double check everything so yeah double check that's definitely the right card that's definitely the image we want to flash yeah and we can just start okay this takes a couple of minutes just make sure you don't allow Windows to format anything. Uh, Rufus is all done, close, and we are done.
Hope your uncle. Oops. Darius, but. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Right, well, I hope you found today useful. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.